Hello and welcome to Ahmad Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about the endocytosis and exocytosis. Endocytosis and exocytosis are the processes by which cell moves material in and out of the cell. Now you may ask the question that we have other processes too like diffusion, active transport, passive transport. Why we need the endocytosis and exocytosis for the movement of molecules? So the reason behind is that the molecules which are too large to be passed through the cell membrane by the process of diffusion or uh, active transports, they are transported by these two processes. These two processes, they are used for the bulk transport of the molecules. For example, if you wanted to transport a large amount of molecules from one cell to outside or from outside the cell inside uh, to inside the cell, so you need one of these processes. Large molecules, microorganisms, waste products are the some substances which are passed through the cell membrane via exocytosis and endocytosis. Now let's study one by one what are these processes. Endocytosis word is made up of two words endo and cytosis. Endo means inside or in the cell while cytosis mean cell. So it means endocytosis mean inside the cell. It is the process by which cell takes in substances from outside of the cell by engulfing them in a vesicle. For example, this is a cell and here some kind of material is present. So from this outside part of the cell to the inside of the cell, movement of this particular molecule will be taken place by endocytosis. Here is the diagram which represents the endocytosis. This part here is outside the cell where the bulky material is present. What will happen that this cell membrane it will start to invaginate or it will fold inside to allow this material to move from outside to this part here. After that this cell membrane it will pinches off from the cell membrane or it will separate itself from the cell membrane and this vesicle is known as endocytic vesicle. Now the endocytic vesicle it contains the bulky material which needs to enter inside the cell. Here this is the internal part of the cell where we have cytosol. Now what will happen that this endocytic vesicle it will fuse with the lysosome. We know that lysosome it contains the enzymes. So that enzyme it will be used to digest this bulky material maybe for the recycling or for the digestion to separate the small particles. Now there are two types of endocytosis. One is phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is made up of two words phago and cytosis. Cytosis, we know the meaning of cytosis is cell, while phago means eating. So literally phagocytosis means cellular eating or eating of cell. In the process of phagocytosis, large particles or cells like bacteria or damaged cells, they are taken inside the cell and inside the cell they are digested by the lysosomal enzymes. The second process is pinocytosis. Pinocytosis is also made up of two words pino and cytosis. Cytosis means cell while pino means drinking. It means cellular drinking. Actually it's not drinking but we are actually representing the liquid molecules with the drinking. Like we are drinking the water. Similarly if cell is taking in some kind of fluid material or water material inside the cell it means that cell is actually drinking that liquid fluid or water that is why it is known as pinocytosis so in other words pinocytosis is actually the entrance of fluid which may be water or the nutrients inside the cell the second process is exocytosis. Exocytosis is made up of two words exo and cytosis. Exo means outside while cytosis means cell. So exocytosis means outside the cell. What happened in the process of exocytosis? Cells move bulky material from within the cell to the extracellular fluid. It means 
for example we have a cell here and inside the cell we have this bulky material and this bulky material needs to be transported out of the cell so this movement of bulky material inside the cell to the outside will take place by the process of exocytosis here is a diagram which represents the exocytosis here we have bulky material which needs to be exported out of the cell this part here is inside the cell while this white part here is outside the cell so what will happen the this bulky material it will be packed into a vesicle this vesicle is known as secretory vesicle the bulky material it will be taken from the cytoplasm or cytosol and then it will fuse with this cell membrane during the process of fusion the other side of this secretory vesicle it will open and all the bulky material it will go out of the cell now this vesicle here is known as exocytic vesicle so in this way this bulky material is transported out of the cell into the extracellular space this process is very helpful to remove toxins or waste products out of the cell along with this the hormones or the neurotransmitters which are produced inside the cell they are also easily transported out by exocytosis another benefit of exocytosis is that it will add the new cell membrane which was lost during the process of endocytosis if you remember in the endocytosis the cell membrane was pinched off in the form of endocytic vesicle while during the process of exocytosis that this exocytic vesicle it is going to fuse with cell membrane and in this way new cell membrane is added so that was all about endocytosis and exocytosis if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section if you like this video share it with your friends also subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video